you don't hear anyone talk about it so yeah. when you no. do go through it you feel like oh, you're you're the only one isolated again it comes back to feeling isolated i'm the only one going through this there's something wrong with my hormones there's something wrong with me as a human being i'm a sinner So we were just talking about you know how a lot of us deal with temptation and how whether you're a believer or non-believer in Jesus we all go through that experience right yeah. but i think it'll be good to dive into what are the practical things that we can enforce in our lives or consciously make a decision to stay away from or to stay towards in helping us overcome yeah temptation because i think it would be good to give that kind of practical approach of what has helped each one of us yeah. you know mm. not what society or you know sociology says but for us what has been really helpful so one thing that has really helped me and has helped countless of people who go through any weakness addiction something that they keep falling back into those mm. repetitive patterns right. how do you break that you have to introduce something that is completely uncommon and against the grain and you need to get the help of someone else hey, because you on. tried it on your own strength mm-hmm. and yeah. yes god is there to help you but are you being accountable to god yes. are you able to keep yourself in check so what has helped me in those situations is where i have a friend or i have you know a parent or maybe my sister or somebody who i trust and they create mm. that safe space for me and i'm able to go sit down with them and be vulnerable and yeah. say i am struggling with this i'm dealing yeah. with this very poorly i'm yeah. trying my best because that's how it is we yeah. try our best and we think we put it up to be such a mountain mm. especially addictions you put it up to be such a mountain it's not no it's no. like dust under my feet no. yes. but you know you isolating yourself is making it an atmosphere Correct. where the enemy can attack you easier Absolutely. and you can get into that victim mindset easier mm-hmm. your thoughts can just you know victimize you so much yeah yeah and just be accountable to that person Plus, it, it yeah. it's a game changer i like what you wow. just now oh said God. um being isolated because i found something for in my personal walk it's like isolation has been one of those things where it's like mm, yeah. yeah we we don't want that you know um mm. it's interesting because it's like i mean i don't know the psychology behind yeah. it mm. but i think it's interesting because you want to stay productive and is it is this that's in the bible right idle space is a devil's yes. uh yeah and idle mindset is a devil's workshop that's that's true because i've found that to be true in my own life like isolation is something that i need to be very like no I need mm. to realize like hey I need to take an inventory of my time and yeah. make sure like I'm not staying isolated I'm staying productive and I'm also having that accountability around mm, me I love yeah. what you said even accountability and I think between us friends as well you know yeah. uh, I found that safe space to be with these It, amazing women of God We can be open God. to each other that's yeah. the freedom yeah. that we have yeah. in our friendships yes. because you guys will not judge me Yeah mm-hmm. that's that's one thing that and your that's safe security. space will not go and tell someone else mm. yes. exactly yes. no judging and then yeah yes. no taking it around yeah but also there's power in exposing the life of what it is because mm, yes. i think what happens is we've <laughs> gone for so long especially you know i i think talking from that i guess the christian perspective and growing in a christian family you know you don't hear anyone talk about it so yeah. when no, you no. do go through it you feel like you're oh, you're the only one isolated again <laughs> it comes back to feeling isolated i'm the only one going through this there's something wrong with my hormones there's something wrong with me as a human being i'm a sinner you mm. know and i will sit and rot in my own place yes again you're isolated you are you're sitting in this one place of believing that you are the worst person in the world where you know it comes back to this verse and i'm so glad that i have it right here it's like first corinthians 10 verse 13 right it says no temptation has overtaken you mm. but such as is common to man and god is faithful who will not mm. allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able yes. but with the temptation will provide the way of escape also yes. how powerful is that so, so in this verse in and of itself like I, you know i've, I've skim through it but i've not read it actually to realize like hey we all go through this experience we all have it yeah. it's not something that none of us have not gone through it but there is victory within the same so worse yes, it yeah. says that god will provide a way of escape mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. how awesome is it that Amen. the very area that the enemy condemns us mm-hmm. is the very area that god says i will bring escape for yes. you wow. right yes. so and again this power of exposing the life of what it is, it is. Mm-hmm. bring it on. to the surface talk about it yeah 
job. Bring it to the Bring surface. Bring it. Bring Accountability it. does that. That's what it does. Because it's not easy. You're exposing to, it to the light. Exactly. So I think the enemy will like, he will have a hold on you as long as you keep it in, in the yes, shadow. Yes, he hmm. wants it to be but hidden. But when you bring it out, you see it for the true nature that it is. You have people around you praying for praying you. Praying for you. Coming into agreement you. with you. Absolutely. Right? And also it's just like knowing that, hey, I'm not in this alone. There is power in a corporate gathering. There's power in people believing with me. And also just like knowing that, hey, you know what? Like if God has done this for someone, he will do it for me. Mm-hmm. And you, I'll be honest, right? It's very easy to sit here and say, use the word of God. There have been moments where I'm unable to do it myself. Mm-hmm. And that is why you have that accountability. Sometimes you're unable to hold your own hand. Mm-hmm. You need people to pray with you in the spirit. You know, something yes. practically that I do that has helped me is, I don't want to explain what my situation is, but I've told like a couple of my friends, by, the, by them I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I will send like an emoji and we have like this yellow color emoji on our group chat, which basically is, hey, you don't need to know what I'm going through, but just know just I need Jesus pray, right now. Pray for me. Yeah, pray for me because your it's girl needs sign. prayers, you know. Yeah. Um, we actively do that. Yes, yes, yes. And the more number of hearts we know, the, the intensity. Yes. Of yeah, yeah. We realize we're like, okay, it's three hearts today, guys. Or if it's like one huge big heart. Oh, man. Oh, oh my God. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's pray in tongues. <laughs> and that's helped us a lot, right? Yeah, it has. It, it has. has. I mean, like, let's be honest. Yeah, has it helped you guys? Like, in you know, just doing that? Respect, yeah. that was there for me at times where, okay, Sanchita, you're going to fall in another five minutes. Wow. Or tomorrow, Jesus. if you continue in this. But this accountability in this oh. safe space, it has been such a blessing. It's worked. Wow. It yeah. Let worked. me be honest. There have been times that I could not really get up and pray about it yeah. myself. Yeah, yeah. But I know for a fact that you guys were interceding for me and I was able to come out of it faster. Wow, because of amen, you. amen. For sure, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Wow. I know it. Wow. And also, like, I wanted to touch about something, like, even as we were talking about this, like, uh, it, it's going to go a little bit back, but I feel like it's important to know that many times I've observed, I always used to deal with the surface. Mm-hmm. And what's happening is I'm killing the stems, the leaves, mm-hmm. I've been cutting it and doing a great job cutting it. But here's the thing, the life is in the root, root. right? Yeah. And I think it's very to important mm-hmm. to go to the root. And here's the thing, we all don't know what the root is sometimes. And mm-hmm. some of us do know what the root mm-hmm. is. But I think getting Holy Spirit involved in that process Please. of mm-hmm. healing Absolutely. is really really important and yeah. again that comes with a lot of vulnerability with God and saying like hey I actually don't know where this started from but mm. one thing I do know is you are the great healer you mm. are the great redeemer but yes. show me that root again sure. bringing out the life of what it truly is identifying that root and killing the root at where it is yes yeah and then Absolutely. walking in true freedom For right sure. freedom. For yeah sure. you know there's a beautiful verse in the Bible that says nothing can separate you from the love of God Amen. Come on. Nothing above, nothing below, nothing in the present, nothing in the future. It doesn't say past. Mm. Can you say that again? Can you say that again? Wait, let's read that. Okay, so this is beautiful verse in the Bible that says in Romans chapter 8, verse 38 and 39. And I'm convinced that nothing can ever separate from God's love, neither death, nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Mm. And even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power Mm. in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God. You know what stuck to me in this two verses? Neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Hmm. So that's present and future. future, But it does not mention past. Ah, Hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah, let me tell you why. Because when you go back to your past and when you're holding on to what's on the past, Hmm. you yourself, I'm not saying God's love will go away from you. You yourself are separating from the love of God. You're Mm. separating yourself from God's love because you're holding on to it and you're just distancing yourself from God though he's standing right there. His position will not change. Mm. Your position is changing just Mm. by holding on to the past. Nothing can separate us today or tomorrow but let me tell you, if you hold on to your past, that can separate you from God's love and you can feel guilty, go into that temptation and Mm. then you never know, lo and behold, you might be backslidden. And I think another very important thing is to find distraction. Like, mm. What can distract us from 
that temptation yeah. just find yourself doing something keep yourself busy mm. like you said isolation yeah. so what yeah. do you do you were telling something yesterday what what do you do when you feel isolated yeah i think the first thing you do is i will literally call my friends guys <laughs> like i'm not even kidding i'm you call like, them ah. over <laughs> call yes, them over yes i actually yeah. call my friends that's, over that's you know, i mean i I cannot like like again if you have a family and your parents are like hey <laughs> you know think twice um it, it can if you have the privilege of having people over and it's easy for you well and good or even if it means just getting your mind off of it hmm. reading a book reading cooking a book. finding a new passion finding a new hobby okay how can i channel this energy somewhere hmm. else you know wow. yes yes you, you know way sometimes to say it. of course bible is amazing we, but i'm not going to be reading it all, all the, the time. time and in those moments I, let me be real i brought in a position to read it yes yes <laughs> let me be honest what what yeah. do you think am i no. the only one no no no, no, no. that's no. why i'm changing yes, yes. that's what i thought I I needed to do but yes. it didn't actually happen yes. so, so also th- knowing that like hey you know it started from a certain place like mm-hmm. it started from a thought right yeah. a thought pattern it could have started from something that you saw visually it can start from something you heard mm-hmm. it can even be to the point of like anything that is um I, I wouldn't use the word trigger so lightly but anything that works with your five senses that you feel is connected Correct. to just leading into the slippery slope entices mm-hmm. you entices you Correct. just create an inventory here and just like a mental inventory so you know like hey i have these certain things that i know just don't work with me and don't flirt with that idea i think we need to <laughs> establish this don't flirt with the idea that you have gotten to a place where you can go back into this you have to use wisdom in this yeah. <laughs> there are some blinds you do not cross i mean jesus said flee from you know when you come to sexual lust. sin just yes. flee flee run don't <laughs> flood you got to flee don't flood don't see how you know oh, i pray for 20 days <laughs> you know how far can i just you know tease the edge no no no, no guys yeah. use wisdom here run away please, please. please. run away run away <laughs> but also just like knowing that even in that process you have overwhelming victory yes, right sir. overwhelming victory yes, but I also have practical things in place <laughs> like you know here I've, i've had i've heard from people they'll be like well i read the word of god and now i feel like i can watch the show again when no, when clearly i'm like no, well no, i what? saw the ratings and <laughs> it did not have like that great of a rating you know so i think like use wisdom yes, right even when you're walking in this wisdom and no also, license We're no giving license. license here no giving license here no but also remembering that like you can have certain things in place calling a friend talking to your family members yes. uh revisiting like revisiting how god has been faithful in the past mm. and mm. how he has let you overcome Come so many situations this. so there's nothing in the front that he mm. cannot do that he has not done, done. in the past mm-hmm. he's the same Powerful. yesterday today and forever isn't he amazing so, he is yeah i think that's awesome. something that's really helped me knowing awesome. my son so called triggers you know what if i could spend so much time meditating and premeditating about sin and the idea of it i can also spend that energy and that time meditating and asking holy spirit i need your help you yeah. said you'll provide me a way of escape now who do what i do call I do? What, what do, do i do, I do? Yes. where do i go practically what do i do practically yes. i need a step for like faith right without now. actions is, is dead, dead. cuz he's, yes. yes. he's the same god who tells me to get up out of the bed and go wash my face and these kinds of things yes. so yes. he Come he's on. for every day yes Amazing. yes and also just knowing like you know this is something that's benefited each one of us but then that's been our personal walk with yeah. the lord and our personal revelation of what that looks like for us personally yeah. and god has a specific one for you you yeah. can yes. definitely adopt some of these it's not a end all means all for everybody because mm. everyone goes through different things mm-hmm. yeah. but i would say like like sanchita said you know taking this with god and seeing mm. what that journey looks like with you yeah. and him and inviting him in that process, process. you know let's be a part yeah. of